Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs with me, Jack Bryden. To start off tonight, I'll be talking about Andros Townsend, who played a full 90 minutes for our under-21s as we went on to beat Middlesbrough 2-1 this afternoon. Now, he hasn't played uh, since we beat Anderlecht um, last month. Um, and obviously he had a bit of a falling out with one of the staff at Spurs and he wasn't in the squad to face Chelsea at the weekend. Um, now, it obviously um, brings questions up as to, he's now playing in the under-21s, it starts bringing up questions as to what will his future be at Spurs, is the writing on the wall for him uh, at the club. Um, obviously he'll be wanting to get into the team um, to sort of um, put a stake uh, towards his uh, England future for Euro 2016, so will he be wanting to move on in January? Uh, probably, I would say that he, he should be looking for another club, possibly. Um, now, let us know whether you think Andrews Townsend should stay and fight for his place at the club in the comments section below. Um, let us know your thoughts. Uh, moving on to uh, the second subject of today, Stan Collymore was talking on TalkSport today um, and he's questioned uh, Saido Berahino's attitude and said that maybe we should drop our interest in him. Now, what he did say was that uh, manager uh, Pochettino has just got rid of players who were causing trouble at the club, for instance, that of Bayor. Would he want somebody, uh, Saido Berahino seeing his attitude since August? Now, obviously, we remember uh, that in the uh, transfer window in the summer, we did go for him with a few bids and it was obvious that Saido Berahino wanted to leave the club and said that he would never play for chairman Jeremy Peace ever again. Obviously, we know that he actually backtracked on that comment and uh, since um, has started playing for him again and he does look like he's, he's performing for him. Now, is Saido Berahino the sort of player that you want at our club? Obviously, we've got Andros Townsend throwing a hissy fit. Do we want people like uh, Saida Berahino coming in? He is a good player, don't get me wrong, but is he? Uh, we've got such a good ethos at the club at the moment. There's a good atmosphere between all the players. It seems like everyone's really getting on with each other. Obviously, Berahino has played with Harry Kane, but would he want to play second fiddle to someone like Harry Kane? Is he ha would he be happy to do something like that? Who knows? Is he? Uh, let us know in the comment section below whether you you personally think that Saido Berahino should come to the club in the in, in the January transfer window. Let us know. Uh, finally, some good news uh, possibly for for all of us. Daily Express have said that Spurs are in talks to double Harry Kane's wages from thirty five thousand pounds a week to seventy grand a week. Now. In my opinion, I think we should throw every single penny we have at Harry Kane to try and keep him at the club. He's Tottenham through and through. You've got teams like Chelsea, United sniffing round. In the summer, there, were, there was talk of a £40 million move for Harry Kane from Man United. In my opinion, I think uh, Daniel Levy should do all he can to keep Harry Kane at the club. We know he's a, he's a proven goal scorer, started off a bit slow at the start of the season, but he's coming into his own, starting to score more and more goals now. I think we should throw all the money we have at him. So uh, he's only just also he's only just signed another five and a half a five and a half year deal with the club. Um, that was back in February. Let's get every, put everything that we can into keeping Harry Kane at the club. That's my thoughts anyway. Obviously, we want to know your thoughts, so let us know in the comments section below. That's it for today's seven o'clock Spurs. Make sure to like the video, comment if you've got anything to say. If you've got any thoughts on today's news, let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and come back tomorrow for more seven o'clock Spurs. Hi everyone, it's Barnaby for Spurred on and another edition of seven o'clock Spurs, the show where we give you all the biggest news about Tottenham Hotspur every single day. 